parte de la para la participación ¿no? del Instituto Folclórico, el alza del Instituto Ecológico, de la Fiesta, dando nuestra participación. Está bonito y por supuesto, nos da la oportunidad de dar a proyectar y conocer nuestro país. Es algo muy propio, algo de nuestro Estado, es un honor de nuestro México. Le damos las gracias infinitamente al Colegio Cochís por esta gran presentación y participación que tiene en este segundo encuentro de conciertos sin fronteras y dejamos los micrófonos con el vecino compañero. Well, thank you very much for joining us again. For those of you who just joined us, uh, we are in the midst of the 2015 uh, Border Concert. For some of those, many of your faces are familiar from last year. Uh, and uh, we're very happy to see you again. We want to thank Cochise College, uh, the City of Douglas, uh, the Mexican Consulate, uh, KBRP, uh, the Bi-National Arts Institute, and all of the other groups that were instrumental in help putting this together. And uh, we want to thank Dr. Lori Keene from uh, Cochise College for all of her hard work. An amazing woman, and, and we thank her so much for doing something that's so important, such as this. It's uh, very powerful, obviously, to be here and to hear this music being played uh, next to this, this wall. And uh, hopefully for just a small moment of time tonight, um, this will evaporate between our two borders and uh, do what was uh, what what we hope, which is uh, to join uh, our two cities and our two cultures together. And uh, that's probably best shown tonight as we're going to do next, which is uh, the experience on both sides of the border concurrently. Behind me are the awesome students of LEAP. For those of you who don't know LEAP, it is uh, learning experiential activities programs i believe that's right and it is a, a friday school part of their 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 charge is a friday school that takes place at central school project in an old bisbee when the students uh, of the bisbee school system uh, do not have class this is a great opportunity for them to do things like cooking uh, radio singing and becoming musicians and all of these wonderful musicians behind me are going to uh, show their wares tonight uh, with Mr. Dieter Hennings and uh, in a, just a little bit uh, the Cochise College Orchestra. But on the other side of the wall we have the Roberto Villa Academia di Danza from Naco Sonora and they're going to be joining the LEAP uh, children uh, performing a uh, piece tonight. apoyando muy atinadamente nuestra presidenta municipal y por supuesto Dani Ortega, el alcalde de los Estados Unidos de aquí de Douglas, que donde están pues en constante coordinación y donde no está por demás resaltar que el día de hoy hubo una reunión binacional donde pues están llevando los trabajos más en coordinación. Hoy estamos destacando que no hay una frontera, no hay una barrera estos muros eh, prácticamente caen en cuestión cultural.
applause. It takes a lot of guts to do what they just did, and they did a fantastic job. <clears throat> uh, just as a reminder, this is being broadcast tonight on uh, KBRP LP Bisbee 96.1 FM. I have to do that to help uh, do our legal ID for the uh, for the FCC on this side of the border. Um, but uh, I wanted to talk uh, briefly about all of the people who are making this possible and in part um, the type of collaborations that are happening here which include uh, the, the Mexican consulate who has done a fantastic job, the Mexican government reaching out to us, uh, the media and organizations like Cochise College uh, to help do activities like this. And I think it's so important obviously uh, with regards to what is happening uh, in this area of the country and along our border that uh, by being able to build relationships with uh, organizations like the Mexican Consulate with the city of Agorvieta, uh, with du the city of Douglas, with the city of Naco and uh, Bisbee and Sierra Vista that it's very important for us to be able to um, have these collaborations so that we know what each organization is doing and also how we can help benefit it more.